Hey guys, this is Mike Jr. the second. And this is going to be a new Let's Play called Let's Play Pokemon Coliseum! Yes, and I do realize Coliseum is spelt wrong. I can't tell if that was intentional or unintentional, but it is spelt wrong. Because every time I put it in in the fucking my spell check always tries fixing it. But anyway, that's besides the point. This is uh, Pokemon Coliseum. This is a fucking awesome game. Um, pretty much has the same Pokemon gameplay. Um, what has the same Pokemon gameplay? And I pretty I'll, I'll I'll probably explain that in a bit. I'll I'll just get you into this first screen first. Um, you have a choice between story mode and battle mode. Story mode, all you can really do is either play a new game or play an old game. Um, you have Coliseum Battle now, pretty much like Quick Battle was in, um, Stadium. Coliseum Battle. Um, Solo, Gang. Gang's pretty much you fight against your friends, or at least from what I've seen. I haven't really done this at all, so I wouldn't really know. Um, you got Register Pokemon, which gives you your Pokemon for this part of the game. The Solo Battle, you can choose your Pokemon from Coliseum, this game, or you can do a Game Boy Advance game. So it means pretty much the, f the f um five Game Boy Advance games at the time, which were, if I'm right, I think I'm, thinking I'm gonna say this right, um, Sapphire, Ruby, Emerald, and Pokemon Fire Red, and Leaf Green. So I could put my Leaf Green Pokemon in here, though not the ones from my Leaf Green Let's Play, because I did that on a emulator slash ROM, so, unless I could somehow move that to a game pack, I wouldn't be able to. Coliseum Battle, pretty much play Battles of Coliseums, which is pretty much a tournament mode type thing, except for you don't see what your previous opponents have fight and whatnot. You see, you have Mount, okay, you got these next ones, which is Mount, Mount Battle, which is an 100 Pokemon um, battle. Pretty much knockout challenge. You need to get knocked out, you have to start out from the beginning. You can choose between double and single battles. Um, and this will allow you to continue in case you're done, but you don't want to quit your 100 battle. I will be doing this. And I'm doing it for a special reason, if you know what it is, yes, I'm doing it for that, because I actually want to get through this game doing everything. I didn't do it when I first played the game, but I do want to do it now, and I want to catch it on screen, because I like this game a lot, and I've been kind of, anyone who actually watches my videos, I've been kind of pointing out to playing this game, and now that I finally have the chance to do it, I want to make this a really good Let's Play. So yeah, um, a few things I do have to warn about is the quality, um, quality isn't too bad, it's just... At some points, the game can be really bright, and I, I've, I've messed with it on a virtual dub, so it's not that bad, but still, I wanted to warn that just a little bit. It's not too bad. I, I If it's really, really bad, which in the very beginning, we're going to see a little bit of a pain, but it shouldn't be too bad. So, yeah. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's start a new game. Um, if you try... I mean, yeah, wait, no, never mind. New game, you automatically, to actually do it, you actually have to can't, you have to delete your old file. Because I'm guessing the uh, memory card doesn't have enough space to have you do a full playthrough in one run. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Let's uh, start a new game. Oh, yes. Character names. Um, damn it, I moved it out of the way screen again. This is my second time doing this because I had to shut up my uh, dogs. They were barking at the wind again. Um, uh... This is your player character. Um, yeah, this is player character. This is his, um, name, I guess. Um, God, I'm botching this up right now. Fuck me. Um, anyway, what I was trying to say is his original name is a Wes, which is, um, a nice name. The only thing I don't like about it is that, um, they don't do it in, um, they do it in all capital letters, and I don't know why they can't use the fucking, um, lowercase at all. But yes, his original name is Wes. Some people go by Seth, but his, his official American name is um, Wes. Um, I'm not going to call him Michael for a reason some of you may know of, but I'm not going to call him Michael because of it. And um, I'm not going to call him Wes. I mean, well, I'm not going to call him Wes just because. I'm not going to call him Blaze because that's not really him. It's more of a Pokemon name. Um, I think I'm just going to go with calling him his Japanese name, Leo. So yeah. Give it a little bit more of a spin on this game. Like I said, I want to I wanna get this a good Let's Play, and I want to give it a little, a little bit more variety to it. Just to make it a lot more fun. Is Leo okay? Hell yeah, Leo's okay. He's fucking awesome. Here's a cutscene. There's a Skarmory. And oh, what's this place? Oh, they got explosions! wonder who caused that. 
Is that Leo? Ooh. He looks really happy about something. And he's gonna fuck something up. And hey, look, there's an Umbreon. Nice. No way, we get an Umbreon right away? Oh, that would be fucking epic. Wait, is that an Espeon too? Fuck yeah! He's got a motorcycle as well. Dude, this guy's filled with awesome. That was like an epic, like, A-OK -okay sign he did right there. And he pretty much just pissed off a bunch of people. wonder who they were. And this is beginning of Coliseum. And gotta admit, that's a pretty fucking awesome beginning. And there it is. Here is Leo. Um... He is the oldest out of all the player characters in any of the Pokemon games, or at least the the main game. Since this is still considered a spin-off game, it's still you can still trade with it and whatnot. But still, this is your menu. Um, actually, no, let's keep talking about Leo. Leo is a 16. I mean, no, he's not 16. He's 17 year old. Is 17 years old. Funny enough, I'm turning 17 tomorrow. Um, but I'm not gonna talk about that since this will be... I'll probably be releasing this in about June, maybe? Maybe a little bit later. I don't think I'll probably get this off in May. But still, that's besides the point. Um, yes, he is the oldest player character, and he is the only player character to not only start off with two Pokémon, but two fully evolved Pokémon, and at pretty high levels. So, yes. And our player and our first two Pokémon are Umbreon and Espeon. Um... Umbreon is kind of... This Umbreon is kind of unique because it learns Bite at a very low level. Or... I think that's what it is. When I was reading it online, it said it, it learns Bite at a pretty low level, though. I don't think... I don't know. Um, well, during my Leaf Green Let's Play, I know I had um, Vaporeon, which all of them learn Bite, by the way. All of the EVs. Uh, I don't, maybe not um, Espeon, though. If you teach the EV and then evolve EV, it should be able to know Bite. But yeah. Um, secret power, pretty decent move. Um, a lot more powerful than Bite because we get the, um, stab bonus, or I, th I think that's appropriate for a stab, or, or it's S-A-T-B, one of the two, which is pretty much your, um, if you're the same, uh, type as the Pokemon, you get an extra, you get extra damage to it, so I think Bite does more damage. But yeah, secret power is good, can cause, um, um, sometimes it causes paralysis, which is pretty awesome. You got Taunt, which isn't really that good, and neither is Snatch, but, yeah. Taunt can be used to your can be used to be effective, but not always. Snatches, well, um, as you can see, steals and uses a target's move if it raises stats. And funny enough, um, in double battles, it can steal. Um, not switch. I didn't mean to do that. It can steal certain moves. Um, here is Espeon, and by the way, both both of them are males. Though I kind of hate to be an Espeon and be a male. <laughs> Um, it has confusion. This will pretty much rape the first few fights, in the, and um, this will pretty much rape all the Pokemon in the first few fights. Return, which you know what it is, is increased on happiness. And what I've also read is that um, Espeon's happiness, I think, is already at max when you get him, so that's pretty cool. He got Reflect, which will reflect, um, not reflect, it'll raise defense for both you and Umbreon in double battles. And Helping Hand, which works in double battings, and it increases strength. You don't know by how much, and I've tried looking it up, and I've never got a full-on reason, or, I mean, a full-on number, but if you look, you will easily see that it does, in damage does increase if you use Helping Hand. Though I'd only recommend it if you're going to get a super effectiveness, or you think you're going to get a critical. I don't know how you're going to guess that. Snag list, um, I'll explain that later. Leo's email, which is your email, and yeah. It's our PDA instead of a, I don't know, instead of a watch. Items, self-explanatory, so yeah. And, uh, yeah, that should be the introduction for our main character here. Pretty uh, fucking awesome if I do say show myself. So, yeah, um, so let's continue on with the game. Who are those two punks? Huh, did you catch a Pokemon or something? Is it me, or is that bag breathing? I'm guessing it's probably just the wind, though. God, 
not, I do love the um, music in this game. I, I love how they... Uh, almost all of them is based off the atmosphere, not just the same fucking music over again. Which I do like about video games. Ooh, newsflash! Team... Team Snagum? Really now? So that's the same place we just, um... Well, we pretty much stole something from. Well, I think we kind of know what the, um, explosion is. They gotta admit, a 17-year-old who knows how to make shit explode. That's fucking awesome. So, yeah. What do these people have to say? Because they all seem to be fixed on the news. Not really. What is... Who is Team Snagum? Really? Shit, that, that's... That's kind of dangerous. I mean, you have, we've... Every time we play a Pokemon game, we try stealing something from a trainer. They're like, hey, you can't fucking steal. That's against the rules. Jeez, what do this guy has to say? Yeah, I probably won't be sticking around for too long. Haha, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Crime free life. No shit will blow up on you. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, please, give me a hip hip hooray. And. Nice pink hair, dude. Yeah, how could you tell? My eyes. So he admits he's going to fight us. Or at least if he did, he'd get his ass kicked, huh? So yeah, if you didn't catch the screen, you can push the news thing again. It usually tells it to you. Um, this does tell you news throughout the whole game, too. Very good. Huh, <laughs> can resist, huh? Willy? Huh. Eh, yeah, why not? I'm pretty sure if you say no, it's one of those butt situations where you always have to answer yes. Yeah. Vroom, vroom, let's roll. Alright then. Well, at least you're a step up from the uh, pink haired um, motorcyclists. Wait, did it say. No, it did call him a rider. So technically, he kind of is a motorcyclist, but whatever. Anyway, here is a. Uh, Zigzagoons, they're, um, Generation 3. And I am sorry, this place is really fucking bright, and I don't know why. This area. So yeah, you might be going, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! You're double battling? Oh yes! Through the ore region, which is where we're at, by the way, we always do double battles. Um, I don't think there's too many situations where we actually do double, uh, single battles, but yes, the whole game is double battles, which is something I really fucking wanted to do when I first played this game. Or at least when I first heard about double battles, so yeah. And this fight is really, really, um, uh, one-sided, so, yeah. Not a good chance you're gonna lose. Even if, um, they kept getting critical hits all the way through, you're still gonna kick ass. As you can see, Confusion Rapes. Gonna use bite. Ah, come on, Umbreon. Espeon's a level up under you, and she's kick. I mean, he's kicking more ass than you. Tail whip, really? Wait, was that tail whip or was it um, clear or something? I totally skipped that. It was probably growl. Um, yes. Just use secret power and um. Ah, eh, fuck. Let's show you reflect. As you can see, Reflect gets both your Pokemon, which is kind of useful. Kablooey. And now you're dead. Yes. 
So you gotta really like this 3D type of battling for, um, with Pokemon Coliseum. God, this place is fucking bright. So this is probably gonna be the only time you ever fight in this game. Or you ever fight here. So yeah, it doesn't matter too much. But yeah. It's like we just ended a conversation. Fenac City? Sorry if I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't pronounce it correctly. Cool. Alright then, and the way you leave areas is you just pretty much leave the area. Ta-da! So yeah, this is the ore region. There's the map, it's kind of, uh, they really didn't improve it in XD. So yeah, um, actually, this is really funny. Um, the ore region is actually supposed to be based off, um, Phoenix, Arizona. And oddly enough, I live in Arizona. I don't live in Phoenix, but, um, still pretty funny. It gives a little bit more of an edge to, um, to this Let's Play, I guess, I don't know. Here's our badass character on his bike. Every time you go to a new area, it shows him on his epic bike. And here's Fennec. And there's those two guys again. Squirming? It's a Pokemon. You know you could have used a Pokeball, right? Wait, it can speak? Her? Uh oh. Oh boy, you do not want to fight me. You might have noticed the music changed in battling, and that's because this is a new type of fight. There's two different types of battles, um, normal battles, and well, pretty much when you're fighting bad guys. And these are the bad guys, so, uh, yeah. Again, this is going to be really easy. Um, especially with Espeon's Confusion. I'd have to say, probably the first four or five fights in the game are pretty easy. You're probably going to be kicking the most ass out of all of them. And yeah, secret power doesn't do enough. Seriously, Umbreon, can't you work on it a little bit? Ooh, got his accuracy to fall. That's good, at least. See, they do shit to nothing damage. Six damage? Yeah, oh no. Somebody help me. I'm going to, um, die. I'm gonna use return. Ah, four hearts, my one weakness. Damn you. And Umbreon leveled up. Hell yeah, I am. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people could take out your Whismers. <laughs> they were shit, my friend. That's right. <laughs> you just gave yourself away. Oh, please, I'd love to see that, my friend. So, yeah, and by the way, he can't leave this point. He gotta go over and talk to the bag, or nothing else can happen in this game. Yeah, gonna undo the knots. So I wonder who's in here. All right, a hot chick. Hell yeah, I did. Not really. Well, unless you mean me pretty much one-siding the fight. 
And here is your partner in this game. Um, so yeah, I don't really know how to pronounce this. I'll just stick with Yuki just because, though I'm going to new name it because I don't like the uncapitalized letters. I mean, I don't like them all being capitalized. That just really annoys me. Um, where's the K? There we go. Letters always hiding from me. Yuki. There we go. Yuki. Particular Pokemon or wait, is it is that a typo? Pecular. Huh. Well, no, they didn't really use a different Pokemon. Yeah, the mayor's house is pretty easy to find. You want me to escort you there? Well, hell yeah, I'll do it. Yuki became a partner. And there's that noise. So yes, as you can see, Leo's getting close to getting laid. No, I'm kidding. You're too young for that. You have to be married first. <laughs> so yes, Yuki follows you around. There are some areas where I think it can kind of get her to, like, get stuck and not follow you. Like, I think I might be able to do it right here. Can I? No, I can't. How about down here? So yeah. And she's stuck. Hardy har har. It's kind of funny. Though sometimes she like doesn't like. Well, sometimes it's like she'll like completely follow you back, like run towards you. But eh, not this time, I guess. Oh no, here she goes. See. So, yeah. So you can't escape her. She totally is after us. That's how awesome we are. And here's the mayor's office. What the. <laughs> what the fuck's up with your getup? He gives me the willies. Hmm, and now we've teleported in front of the door. How convenient. Nice to meet you, Mayor. Um, yes you can. Please help out this young lady here. Saw what? What? A Pokemon that gave off a black Aurora. It was like a fighting machine? That doesn't sound right. Attack people? Well, from what we've seen in Pokemon, Pokemon usually don't attack people, like, at all. They're, like, too afraid of them. Well, not including the anime manga and all that other bullshit. Yeah, that is kind of hard to believe. How do we know you're not making stuff up? Well, you kind of got a point there. Maybe. Well, looks like the mayor got the hots for the young lady. That isn't good. <laughs> yes, I am. Pokemon Stadium. Yep, that's pretty much the name of the game. They're Coliseums. And yeah. This is Fnac City, or however the fuck you want to say it. Um, 
Apparently this city actually has a story on how it got its water, and it's, it's, it's apparently the same on how as how Phoenix got their water. I haven't really checked the story, but it's supposed to be one of the things that, um, related to say, yeah, this is based off Phoenix, Arizona. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. And the stadium is right up here. The stadium's pretty cool. Entering in your Pokemon and pretty much battling it out. It's a lot of fun. All right. Really? We, like, just missed it? Oh, boy. Anyway, guys, give me a second. Okay, sorry about that, guys. We, um, uh, had somebody wanted to talk to me, so I'll be cutting that out. So, yeah. Though now I do have Cherry Sprite in front of me, which would make this game more epic, if possible. So apparently we can't fight, which sucks, and who the hell are these guys? Double Crossing Traitor? Ripping off the snag machine, huh? Their team snag them? So we're we're we used to be a part of Team Snagum. That's actually kind of epic. Snagger. That doesn't even sound right. Well, according to the canon of this game, it is true. We are a member. We used to be a member of Team Snagum, and we stole their stag their snag machine, which you can see is already on our left arm. Maybe. <laughs> Fuck you, I ain't giving it back. Of course I do. But I have my own reasons for it. That's right, so pretty much snag balls aren't, aren't um, just supposed to be pokeballs. But they can be transformed into snag balls, so technically you can't really get caught for having them. Like what, Leal doesn't already know it? Pretty much. Actually, you look kind of stupid. I mean, you are bald, and bald people never really wear that. Good looking, but what am I to say? Though, I don't know why you're wearing that thing in the back of your head, too, which pretty much does make the stupid look even more stupid. You taking us- taking something by us from force? Coughing and a... And I missed the name of that. I know I've seen the name before. It's not that hard. Let's see. Well, we're going to be attacking the core fish because um, coughing's a poison type and we want to use uh, psychic type against it. And this is pretty much owning times too. Super effective! Guess where this Pokemon is going? Inside of a coughing! Or a coffin. Damn it. Totally fucked up that joke. And Espeon's close to leveling up. Almost got him. Vice Grip. Ooh. Not good. Yeah, that actually did some good damage. Vice Grip is pretty much the same same move as um for Krabby's and uh, Cloisters. Not Cloisters, Krabby and it's a ball form. Kingler. Kablooey! And Corfish goes down! Defeated! Out of there! Level 26. Of course you're not good enough. You can't beat the Leo. He is king.
Yeah, sure you will. You can't beat the badass that is Leo. It's true, we're from Team Snagum, but hey, that doesn't make us bad people. It just means we made some bad choices. Pretty much former Team Snagum. We're more epic than them. Well, that's good. Gallant Prince who rescued me when I was in trouble. Yeah, there is this thing going on between whether Leo and Yuki are in love. Well, or at least if they're going out or something like that. There's nothing that really confirms it, but at the same... Well, there's nothing that really says it isn't true, but then again, there is nothing that says it is true. Though it does, it is implied that Yuki does like um, Leo, at least. We should go shopping for Pokeballs? Well, I guess so, but... I mean, we're not trying to steal Pokemon. Really, I mean, well... I mean, don't get me wrong, there's probably some epic Pokemon we could take. So, yeah. Anyways, go look for some Pokeballs! 